Hello, Brother Sewing and Crafting family. Angela Wolf here. And today we're crocheting designs. Look at how cute this is. Oh my gosh. I, I have to decide where I'm going to use this, but I can definitely picture, I don't know, maybe buttonholes on a jacket. Oh yeah. Going down a sleeve. Oh, I've got plenty of ideas. So roll in, say hi. Internet's acting a little strange today. So if I lose some of you, uh, Hopefully not. <laughs> Hopefully not. And to all of our dear friends in the way of the hurricane, hope you're all doing safe. I've checked in with a few of you and it sounds like you've fared well. So hoping for the rest of you. So by the way, did you watch any of the shows this week? Because there's been a lot of fun ones. Tuesday, I showed you some of the cool features on the Stellaire. So all of you with the Stellaire one, if you're thinking of upgrading to the three, go back and watch Tuesday's show. All of you that upgraded or purchased the Stellaire 2, I just said three. There's not a three. It's a two. <laughs> go back and watch that. But I wanted to clarify one thing because I did go back and watch the show myself. We were talking about the Luminaire and the Stellaire, and I got confused on one thing. So the needle plate that I showed you this last week is for the sewing and embroidery version, not for the embroidery version. So when you go back and watch that, just to be clear, I think I clarified it at the end. But um, anyways, just to be clear. So today, these designs are built into the Stellaire. So they are so cute and easy to do. So why would we do a show about that? Well, there's some tricks to the trade on it. My friend Cheryl Hoffman at Brother gave me a little lesson on how to hoop specifically for these little lace designs. So I think you're going to enjoy that. All right. Everyone pop in, say hi. Be sure to do the like button and the subscribe button if you're on YouTube. In the meantime, let's bring up the table. I think my camera is not plugged in. <laughs> Hold on one sec, guys. Of course, why would it not be? All right, let's go to this camera. Which one died on me? I think they all did. I think I unplugged something. All right, hold tight. Let me figure out what I unplugged. <laughs> all of them? or just a few of them. Um, well, that's kind of strange. It's been one of those days. You can see all the plugins are down here. Oh, I kicked the cord. All right, hold tight, because I've got some fun stuff for you. I just got to hit the buttons back on. Gremlins, get them out of the studio. You can see I'm working on a lot of projects. So they're rolling back on. They should be on in just a moment. See when they come pop back up here. Here they are. All right, let's go to the table. And I want to talk a little bit about the stabilizer. I'll take you to the machine, show you the crochet designs, and <laughs> maybe no more gremlins will get around here. So if you watch yesterday's show, this would have been on my page. I'm working on a couple sew alongs for you guys, one on the brother page and one on my own page. And for all of you that are wondering, did I actually find a lining for this? Not yet. So if you're curious about what I'm making, it's a very cute skirt and a jacket. I'm thinking these crochet designs might look good on this, but um, I haven't found the perfect lining yet. So I'm going to the basement after the live show and digging through some bins. So wish me luck. All right, so for the crochet designs, now these are all some of the Stellaire hoops which for those of you new to the Stellaire, these are a little different. You use your My Design Snap app to take a photo and this will take it directly to the machine. This is all in the Stellaire Masterclass too, so don't worry about if it's confusing. It's really easy to do. So I brought a few sizes up here because I wanna just see how big the designs are and then I'll show you how to hoop. So this is wash away stabilizer. It's not sticky back wash away, it's just wash away. What does that mean? When you put it in water, it disappears. There's a trick to this though. So let's go to the machine, check out the design and then decide what hoop we're going to use. I love those little butterflies. Very, very cute. All right, I think it's this one right here, here we go. And feel free to ask your questions, I'll try to answer anything I can too. If 
by the way, as I'm rolling over to the machine, I can see all of you rolling in. Oh my gosh, you know, you make my day when you all say hello, because then I can go back and say, oh my gosh, all the favorite brother people are here. <laughs> uh, yeah, Sarah, you can watch the replays. So you're on Facebook. So the best way is to share this to your page. It's easier to find that way. But if you go to Brother So's YouTube channel and on the top, there's like a few different icons, click on live shows and you can go back and binge watch for, well, what number is this one? 370 and I didn't even start counting until after one year. So there might actually be like 600 of them. But if you want one specific to the still air, you can go back and watch that. But we've got stuff on the Luminaire, other sewing machines and other projects that you'll absolutely love. All right, anything else before I head over? Oh, I know, Patty. Uh, without gremlins or a squirrel, which by the way, the two, Maxine and her buddy are outside eating nuts right now, but I couldn't put the squirrel cam out there because I'm using it. <laughs> all right, all right, let's go back over and now I'll take you to the machine. So this is the Stellar 2 XE2, the embroidery only. See that? So I know there's a little bit of a glare, but I think you'll still be able to see okay. Try to step behind it. All right, so in here, the new crochet designs are under embroidery. Use this arrow here to scroll down and they're right here. So I'll just go through and show you some of these. You know, I have somebody who gave me something very similar to this. I'm gonna do a darker background so you can see that. Um, she had these crosses. They look just like tatting. And you know how long those take to do? Oh my, she's gonna love these. So it shows up here on the screen. So again, you have a lot of different hoop options. So let's look at what you can do with the crochet designs, because you can't do everything under the edit screen. So click on edit. You'll see you can't change the size, uh, a few different things here. So you can duplicate and move it around if you want. So you could make, okay, I'm gonna let all of you guess what you think I'm going to be making. Uh, let me just give you a little visual here. You know what, that's super light. Let me go back. I love that you can quickly change things on here. Let's change the color to something really bright. Red, like what I'm wearing. There, you can see that so much better. All right, isn't that beautiful though? Okay, so one idea for you is just to duplicate these, move them around. Okay, I'll give you a hint. Just picture embroidering this on tulle or a really thin, soft mesh. You getting the idea? This would make a gorgeous sweater or a bathing suit cover up. For those of you that have followed me for a long time, know my joke about the crocheted bathing suit. It was a on my bucket list in my 20s. Now it's more like a bathing suit cover up. <laughs> I could rotate these. So you still have a lot of the options that you have for the other designs, but not all of them. Okay, so that's one idea. Now, I would make it a lot neater than that, but just to show you, you can duplicate them, move them around. There's a lot going on there. Okay, what about, I'm just gonna back these up. Well, I could delete them too. Delete. All right, delete. Okay, let's move this one to the center. Click OK. So another fun thing you can do, remember this here? You know, I haven't even checked if this works. Let's try this. Does the matrix work with crochet? I don't know. Oh my goodness, it does. Yay. Okay, I didn't even know that for real. Um, this is amazing. So this would be a great way to make fabric. Or uh, what about something for the table? This would be beautiful. So it automatically calibrates what can fit into the hoop. 
Oh, okay, so that's a bonus. I didn't even realize that. I'll go back here. Let's rotate this a little bit more. Let's go about right. Yeah. That's like half straight. There we go. Okay, on here, what I was thinking of doing before I got sidetracked. So that's the matrix, in case you didn't know that. Right there. But these buttons here, and for all of you on the Luminary, you have this as well. You just don't have the crochet designs. Oh, it extends outside. Oh, darn. I was thinking that I could actually change this a little bit. Let me pick a new design. Back to here. Let's see. What about... Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. I'll change this to red again. Wow, that's pretty. Okay, let me see if it works this time. Up and down. There we go. I just had it wonky. So you always have those red lines outside of your design. My last one, I had twisted around so much, so that's why it wouldn't add. This would make a beautiful sleeve. Or, again, for those of you with home deck projects, this is absolutely gorgeous. I got to check this out again. <laughs> so I wonder, I don't know how big of a hoop you'd have to use because you can also use these buttons here to spread them apart a little bit. As you go through the matrix, you can actually just go through all the different hoop sizes. Okay, nine and a half by 14. Let me just see if I move these apart a little bit. Okay, so it automatically calibrates. If I move it too far apart, then that's how far away they are, but we knocked out a few because there isn't room for it. So yeah, you could have a lot of fun with that. Okay, let's go back. I'm just gonna cancel that out and start fresh. Go back to embroidery. There's a few ways to get back to this screen. Okay, you have this one here. That's beautiful. It says it takes 25 minutes. I don't think we're gonna hang out that long together, but let me see how long the butterfly takes. I can't remember. Oh, that's 24 minutes too. So we'll, we'll watch part of it, but the main thing is to learn how to do the hooping. I love that second color in there. I think I'm going to do this one. And why don't we start with, we'll change the colors. Because I have these two here, purple and purple. For the one, let's go with the dark purple. And for this one here, we'll go with the dark purple. And this one here, how about a light purple? see what that looks like. Oh, that's pretty. What do you think? Unless you have a different color preference, we're going to go with the purples. Now, do you think I should go ahead and add a few more of these in there? Or should we just do one small one so you can see most of it? It's your choice. I'll come and check with you. Because even though you probably, even if I do a few of them, it will take about, well, 25 minutes a piece. That takes a bit, but I'm hoping it'll color sort, which would be nice. And then, I don't know, just let it run for a couple of hours and I'll post a photo. What do you think? These are really fun, aren't they? <laughs> oh, hey, Julianne. <laughs> Enjoy your drive. Everyone's saying do one. Oh, Eileen says awesome. I agree. I agree. Hey, Sandra. Yeah, you can use the matrix on the uh, crochet. I didn't even know that. Uh, that's a bonus today. That's like a happy dance one. I didn't even know that. <laughs> I was actually just going to add a few more there. But yes, you can do the matrix. Everyone says, just do one. All right, let's do a small one. And then you'll see most of it. But I will also show you how to hoop and a few other tips for it. How's that? <laughs> one, please. All right, let's go for one. Well, that means that I get the afternoon off. That's perfect. Okay. So, Butterfly one, okay. I like that one. So what size hoop do I need? 
There I go, kicking the cords again. I'm going to click on embroidery. And it looks like I can use the, four, the smallest hoop, the 4x4. Four four. Now, notice that I've got the dark purple and then the light and then the dark. If these two could have been embroidered together, they would have done that. But you can see it's the bottom layer first. You click down here. Then it will embroider this center part. And then it embroiders the topping. So it has to be embroidered in that order. When I go to layout, notice a couple things here. I can't use the laser on this one. I'm not really sure why, but you can't. I think I have it plugged in. Yeah, I do. So if anything's grayed out, that just means that's what you can't do. If you want to change it all to one color, you can hit that. So let's go over to the table and I'll show you how to hoop for this. Those of you that already enjoy making lace, you probably have already done this and you've seen it. All right. I'm getting there. <laughs> so again, this feels like fabric, it's wash away. Just visit your brother dealer. I'm sure they have stabilized for you. And brother has a lightweight wash away. I, I would call it lightweight. It's not, doesn't, it's not labeled lightweight. It's just wash away. It's not sticky back though. So this one's a little bit too small for this hoop. I always have extra pieces laying around. You really want the stabilizer to be about an inch outside of your hoop. So this one's a little too small. So let's cut some more. And now this is the tricky part. Not tricky, but this is the tip that Cheryl taught me that I, it was like uh, amazing. So there is a weave on this. If you kind of look closely. So if I cut one piece going this way and then take the stabilizer and take one piece going this way. So you're actually taking two pieces of this but you're mixing it up. So one weave goes this way and one weave goes this way. I wouldn't necessarily say it has a grain line, but there is a weave to it. So two layers of wash away, that's it. I'm not even using tulle fabric for this, which for those of you that know me, I usually embroider everything on tulle. Like for example, this that I showed you earlier this week. This is wash away with a thin piece of tulle. But I'm using this for sleeves. So I needed a piece of fabric because otherwise this will fall apart. So this will not because it's designed to be a freestanding lace kind of crocheted idea. So tighten this up and there you go. All right, back to the machine. Oh, Sarah, I just saw that. Was there some lace in the Art Spirit app? I missed it if it was there. So I'm assuming you could do it the same way then if it's lace because it's just two layers of wash away. Now, if you're making sleeves or something like that, you might want to, I use one layer of wash away and a piece of tool, one piece of tool. I also use mesh, it just depends on the project. But this one is total wash away that's going to disappear. Oh, by the way, don't forget guys, it's the last day of the month, the last day. You know what that means? Go get your free design of the month. All right, so it's important that you put the same color of thread in the bobbin. Now. I have white in here for now, but you really want to wind the same color. So why don't we go ahead and do that? Slide this, open this up. See what colors. Got the dark purple first. 
Okay, you're probably thinking, well, I didn't know you could do that. Yes, you just take your bobbin. You're not your bobbin, your thread up here. Can you see up there? I'm trying to prevent you from seeing that side of my studio. That side's the scary part. Clean up in aisle four. All right. I just had my bobbins right here. Here we go. So I have my thread on here. Put your bobbin on here. Goes through here. Just follow the same directions. Go around. I always like to give it a little tug. This around. There we go. And then slide this into place. So this would be the same on the Luminaire and other machines as well. I like to wind this a little slower just in case anything happens. And one more thing I want to point out. I know a lot of people like to use these spool caps, but if it's too big for the end of your spool, a lot of times your thread will stick on this. So let's see if I can find a smaller one. Otherwise, I have a trick for you. I'm not sure if it's a brother approved trick but it sure works well. All right, here are all of my little, of course, why would there be a small spool cap here when you need it? <laughs> okay, anybody see I Spy in my studio of where I put those? I just had them. Hmm. I'm looking. <laughs> uh, yes, it can wind while it's stitching. Isn't that awesome? Oh, I, Eileen, I love what you're thinking. So I found this top this morning and I was thinking lace, right? No, I actually bought the lace, but this would be a great option to do with that lace. And then I would do it on tool. Uh, D, the crochet designs are only in these Specific designs are only in the Stellaire, but someone just mentioned that there's some in the Art Spirit app, which then you can send to the Luminaire. So, and I'll bet you in iBroidery, I'm not affirmative on that, but I'm sure there are some lace designs there. Oh, Bobby wants to know about the, uh, I'll show you that sleeve in just a moment because I'm actually going to make the next one too. All right, did you guys see my bag with, um, all right, well, then I'll show you my other tricks since I can't find them. So, <laughs> thanks, Sarah. <laughs> I'm so glad. I'm so glad to hear that because uh, the worst part is I just had them. Oh, nope, those are all big spool caps. What in the world? I'm with you, Sarah. I need to buy a case of small ones, but I have a trick for you. Now, this is not brother approved, but it's not like it's not going to mess up your machine. I literally just hold my hand on the outside of this spool to hold it in place. I have it on a slower speed. Go ahead and click start. I always like to make sure everything's running right. And if you just hold your hand here, you're holding it in place. Not there, here. So here is your small spool cap for you. You probably weren't expecting that, were you? <laughs> so some, you know, I'm not going to get into a lot of the different threads. I'm using Brother embroidery thread, but there are lighter weight threads that you might want to use for the lace. A rayon would be beautiful. There, that's plenty to get you started, right? All right. And then... I also have to do the light purple, but we can worry about that in a minute. So let's go ahead and thread this. I know, this. we should just have a contest. How many people, if you go look at your embroidery machine right now, can find their itsy bitsy spool thread holder <laughs> cap? Well, if you're doing I Spy in the rest of my studio, it might be a little bit frightening for you. So I don't want to uh, freak anybody out on a Thursday. I will give you a little hint of something I'm sewing while this is embroidering. 
I'll give you a hint of what's coming up next week. I gave a little hint to the wolf pack yesterday on my live show, but I better tell the rest of you because it's going to be a lot of fun. All right, there's the design. There's the hoop. Just click here and go ahead and hit that button. I always like to stand close by for a second just to make sure everything's coming out right. You never know. You could always like wind the bobbin wrong or something like that. So this is the first section. Oops. I'm going to stop. Look what I did. I was showing you guys the designs. Did anybody catch that? <laughs> okay, that's really funny. Not really. But I didn't do enough to make any difference. So let's go back here. I was showing you guys the colors, and I started with the third color. That's first. So I've already sewn embroidered that. Just because this is a test project, I'll just keep it going. But that's what I get for trying to show you guys around too much. Squirrel. There we go. I have a feeling now that um, pink part <laughs> or the light violet is going to cover that embroidery I just did. But because because I'm just showing you, I'm just gonna leave it and let it go. Worst case, when I start that color number three again, it'll just go over and, and my butterfly is going to have a little bump, like maybe <laughs> he got bit by the squirrel. <laughs> hey, Sherry, well, you know about him now, that's wonderful. Uh, Pam, I just use the standard thread, whatever thread I'm using, I'm using on the bobbin too. Uh, so. I actually made some beautiful embroidery recently using just standard thread because I wanted it to be a little thicker. So, and it was for kind of a jean project. So I used just regular thread, but I got to show you guys something really fun. So let me bring you up here. Oh, Lois, I need to take, I need to take notes. <laughs> I need to have it in the tray for sure. There we go. We need them in orange. I'd like mine in pink, please. All right, let me go grab this. I'll take, you can watch the embroidery for a moment. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay, almost ready for our next color. You know what? I should probably wind the other bobbin while you're hanging out there. So I'm just looking at this right here, minus my little, you know, mix up by telling you guys I was playing with the colors, but that should not be there. But this right here by itself, I always love taking designs apart a little bit. This by itself on a tulle fabric would be absolutely gorgeous. So now I'm curious to see what it'll look like with just two colors, since I like to take mine apart a little bit. So let's go ahead and wind the bobbin for the lighter color. This is the lavender. So one of our brother fans, Arnell, in case she's watching, this one's for you. She loves purple and we've missed her lately. So just rewind it just a little bit, hit this. I have it on a slower speed. I have to ask you guys, have you ever had an issue where you weren't paying attention and you didn't wrap the thread quite appropriately and it started filling underneath your bobbin way underneath there? I'm just curious. I think everyone I've ever talked to has had that happen once. Only once, of course. So the next design takes three minutes, and while I, that one's embroidering, I'll show you what's coming next week. Yeah, that's good. And then in order to change your bobbin, regardless of what hoop you're using, just lift this up, 
slide this away. Make sure that your foot's out of the way. You just want to make sure, especially if you're using a larger hoop, that the reason you want this to be nice and tight is if this comes undone, you're going to have to start over. <laughs> That's the only way to put it. All right, pop that in place. Anybody doing anything fun this weekend? For those of you that have a long weekend, three days next Monday off, just out of curiosity, I'm going to be fishing our last fishing tournament of the year. I'm so sad about that. We haven't done very good this year, so I'm hoping for a little bit of a win this weekend. And we started the season on the bang. Let's end it on the bang. The middle of the season was, uh, we just won't go there. <laughs> But speaking of fishing, my project for next week is going to be perfect for the boat. All right. Needle threader. Don't forget, you got an automatic needle threader. So this is the XE2, which is embroidery only, which is why it's missing these buttons. But everything I'm showing you here would be exactly what you see on the XJ2. Okay. The button. Make sure I got to bring in there right. You know, when you're leaning over a camera, you, if it's going to go wrong, it'll go wrong during the live show. All right, drop your questions in. I'll be up there in just one sec to check them. I'm grabbing the project for next week, which you guys, I think, are going to have a lot of fun doing. I'm just about finished with mine, so you won't know the full final effect, but you'll get to see the beginning of it. Oh, hey, Lon. I just saw that you're asking about the free design of the month. So if you go to brothersos.com and go to their blog, every month they give a free design of the month. You can download it. It works only on brother machines. And um, yeah, you have like, I don't know, 10 hours to finish to do that. So and then on Tuesday, Joanne will be back on and she will be showing us the free design for the month for September. All right. Okay, so here it is. To give you a little bit of a peek of what's coming. Who doesn't need a super cool grocery bag? I know, that's our boat name, Win and Angel. My husband's name is Win. I'm Angela. His is spelled with two N's, so we dropped his N and I dropped the A. Win and Angel. So, you like the fish I picked out? This is going to be a project for the whole next month. So don't worry, on Thursday, you don't need anything before Thursday. On Thursday, I will give you a list of supplies of what you're going to do to make this. And you're gonna follow step-by-step, step, including embellishing fabric, embroidering. I love what I did to the straps. And then I'll give you ideas on ways to embellish on your own. So this is going to be a lot of fun. So next Thursday at noon on Brother Sews, we're kicking off the grocery bag. Oh, by the way, this keeps this keeps things hot or cold. Yeah, because there's many times I'm bringing stuff to the boat and I might have some limes and lemons in there. Uh, maybe a few cocktails, I wanna keep them cold or I'm at the grocery store and I don't want my groceries to get warm. So this is gonna be perfect. All right, what questions do you got for me? I'm ready while we're watching it em embroider away. Oh, we're all done. <laughs> All right, hold that thought. I'll get back to your questions here in just a second. Oh, I do too, Phyllis. Isn't it fun? Yeah, which bobbin case are you using? Um, it's just whatever bobbin is with the machine. It comes with the machine. Oh, hey, Les. What is the difference between this and freestanding lace designs? I think it's pretty much the same. Pretty much the same. Freestanding lace means that you can embroider it on wash away and the stabilizer disappears and the design stays together. So do you remember a collection that I did a few years ago? It was Touch of Lace. Touch of Lace. <laughs> I have it on the ground. I will bring it over to you guys in a minute, but that was not necessarily supposed to be freestanding lace, but I'll show you it because I've been embroidering it together, but I have to use a piece of tool with it 
because all the stitches aren't connected. So let me get this started and I'll give you a couple tips on that. Okay. All right, here we go. Oh, look at how beautiful that is. Okay. So minus this spot right here that I screwed up on. Oh, I love that. I could totally see this even by itself before we do the next layer. But now, got to do the whole thing. Let's go ahead and thread it again. Again, it's telling me, I love this on the machine, by the way. It tells you what's going to be embroidered next. You would have thought I would have noticed that at the beginning. <laughs> I was too busy talking to you guys. And also, if you have any issues, maybe your thread broke or you had to change your bobbin, you need to back up this, just click this minus and plus button right here. And you can go back a stitch. You can go back a whole color. Like that would take me back to the beginning of the lavender or go down. And that's how easy it is to skip ahead or behind on stitches. Uh, one thing, I don't know if you all know this. I'm thinking if you're a brother fan, you've been a fan for a while, you do know this. If I'm in the middle of embroidering this, and I decide to go home for the night or I'm done sewing for the day. I have other things I have to do. And you turn the machine off. Do you know what happens? When you turn the machine back on, I'll let you guess that one. If you don't know, you would love that feature. If you do know, then you know you love that feature. Because I can think of, I'll bet you 80% of the time I'm embroidering, I end up going home and finishing the rest the next day. All right, let's just look at this here. Go ahead and click the automatic needle threader. Oh my gosh, yes. Gotta have an automatic needle threader. Slide this back into place. So we have the dark and the dark, right? Did I screw anything up? Was I talking and <laughs> didn't pay attention? We're doing the dark. You know what I might do, because I don't wanna have a ton over this, I'm going to go ahead and skip over what I did. There's a little bit of lav in there. Mm, should I do it or not? Hmm. I have an idea. Let's skip over that big knot. So as I click the plus button here, oops, not that one. There's the big design. If I go plus, you see what's happening here on the screen, there will be a little guide here that shows me what it's embroidering. You know what? I can't tell where that little dot is, though. I'm thinking I should just embroider the whole thing. What do you think? Well, let's get started. And when it gets to that little dot, I could always stop and go ahead if I need to. So in case you're wondering and you missed the beginning, there it is. It's right on the dot. I'm going to I'm going to go forward just a little bit. So it's not super thick. So that is how you can make up for your mistakes. See how it's moving around? I can see the little green dot. There's my dot. That would make it a very thick dot if I didn't move this. Now it's starting to move away. Let's go up to the end. Nope, let's go back a few. There we go. That should be good. Why would I do that? Well, because I at the beginning I wasn't paying attention, and I don't want that to be super, super thick. There. I started right where I ended before. Perfect. I think we saved it. Yay. <laughs> hey, Ann, how is it? Okay, so let me go get that other lace for you. I want to show you what that looks like uh, because this one is not freestanding lace. So you guys just watch for a moment. I will be right back with you. And then 
whoever asked the question about my sleeves, I will answer that for you too. All right, so as you all know, I usually have a gazillion projects going on in my studio. So this is the 10 needle frame. Let me just pop this out because I'm not going to finish the design anyways. I didn't like the way it looked. So now this is not built into the machine. I'm just going back to the freestanding lace idea. So this is some beautiful designs that I embroidered on wash away. And if you look really closely here, the stitches do not cross over each other. So if I were to wash this away and I don't have a piece of tool on here, guess what's going to happen? The designs are going to look really bad, like a slinky. I'll hold this up. I think it'll focus on there. So that's, so if it says freestanding lace or like these are crochet designs that look like tatting, then you know you can embroider them. The designs are all connected somehow that it's not going to just disappear. Does that make sense? Oh, <laughs> hey, Barbara. So I see a ton of yeses, Caroline. <laughs> Caroline, now you make me feel better because you are a pro at embroidery. So in case you missed it, what we're talking about is if you're bobbing, you're not paying attention and it winds underneath your bobbin. By the way, that thing pops off. Did you know that? I never knew that. Someone showed me that <laughs> after all the many years of using a little seam ripper and ripping it out. So I know you have to like love it when other people does the same stuff. Oh my gosh, everybody's done it. Thank you guys. This makes me feel <laughs> so much better. <laughs> oh gosh. Yeah. Hey, Cindy. It was, yeah, Phyllis, it's a nightmare. You guys are amazing. Well, I just am so, <laughs> I'm so happy to read that. <gasps> yeah, I know. Okay, sorry, brother. I hate to, you know, to say that we're talking about a few mistakes on your live show, but we've all been there. We've all done it. The machines are great. That didn't mean, doesn't mean that we get everything right. <laughs> oh, Jody, you're going, you're going to be on my side of the state. It's going to be nice here, I think, Jody. I think it is. Happy to hear you're camping this weekend. Oh, Les, you play the trombone. That's pretty cool. Very cool. My nephew's playing the trumpet in a band on Saturday. Oh, thanks, Cindy. I missed that. Uh, D, I wind the bobbin slowly when I'm using embroidery thread just because I don't want it to be too tight. I mean, it's my own personal preference. You can go full speed if you want. But if I ever, whenever I make mistakes <laughs> during a live show, it's usually because I'm going full speed. So it's partly because I'm live with you and partly because I just want to make sure it doesn't mess up because that's a thin thread. It's a little bit different than just regular sewing thread. Does the Still air have the adjustable bobbin fill like the luminaire. You know, Caroline, I haven't even checked. I'll look when we're finished. Um, hey, Lan. Oh, and you're the one that asked about the sleeves too, so thanks. Uh, this embroidery is in the upgrade kit. So the upgrade for the Still air one, there's one upgrade kit. You get everything that you saw on Tuesday that I showed you on the Stellaire, all these designs. It literally turns your one into a two. The only difference is if you want the Stellaire Masterclass, you have to purchase it from your dealer. It doesn't come with it. It comes with the two. Um, and the other thing is you the, the upgrade kit comes with that new magnetic hoop. I don't even have it yet, which you will love. And that does not come with the Stellaire too. So you kind of get a bonus. It's um, everyone says, well, how does that happen? Well, you get a code, it goes into your machine and it updates. It's like magic, not literally, but it's so easy to do. Yep, Norma, it sure will. Oh, Debbie, <laughs> Saturday's filled with football. I know while we're watching the embroidery designs and then I will get less, I'll get back to my sleeves there. 
Yeah, one of the guys fishing with us this weekend says that uh, I better get the game on the boat because he wants to watch the football game. I'm hoping we're catching so much fish he can't watch it, but. Oh, thanks, Ann. Uh, Bobby, you mean what fabric am I using for my bag? Well, I'll give you a ton of ideas on Thursday, but this is literally just cotton fabric. And then I have that special batting on the inside that keeps things hot and cold. But I'll give you all the details next week. Um, is the bag on the blog? No. It's only going to be live. Thanks, Caroline. Sarah, I think it's going to be perfect for you. Can you use crochet to embellish on your jean jacket? So Sherry, uh, yes, you can. But what I would probably do, because it's pretty thick, you can see how dense that is down there. Uh, well, you're looking over here. <laughs> over there? Um, I would probably embroider it as a patch. Like, not as a patch, but embroider this by itself. So you end up with the butterfly. And then I would attach this to the jacket, because this is pretty thick. So while this is embroidering, let me take you back over to the table and I'll show you something just to give you a close up. So we'll let this keep embroidering for a moment and I'll take you over here. You can hear it embroidering. So if I run out of thread, I'm sure you'll hear that beep too. So, okay, take a look at this and bring you in a little closer. It's pretty thick. So, Putting this on a jean jacket is pretty, that would be pretty thick. So I would embroider this first and then put this on the jacket. And then you could just do free motion around these edges because there's little holes like there. Or hand stitch it in place. That would probably be my pick just because it's so thick. In fact, if I did this as a sleeve, it's still pretty thick. I would probably need to make sure I had it in a place where it's tight against my skin. Otherwise, it's going to stand out. It's not like it bends, but it's not like super soft like this one. So a couple of you asked about these sleeves here. Now, I'm going to be embroidering the other sleeve, so maybe I can show you next week the finished product. I don't know if I'll finish by next week, though. Well, it'll be on the embroidery machine next week. So when I'm live with you all week, I can give you a progress report. So this was hooped with one layer of the wash away, one layer of the tool. This design is built into the stellaire. Isn't it beautiful? I have a color, I think you're gonna love this, of fabric here. I found this knit. So I'm going to make a knit shirt and this is gonna be the sleeves. I think it's gonna be fabulous. So what I will do when I'm finished embroidering, cut away the excess here and then wash it away, and this will be completely clear on my skin with that embroidery. So this will be the sleeve. And when you do this on tool, you need it to be somewhat of a tight sleeve because this will, it just won't lay right. But if you've ever wanted to make wedding veils or anything like that, this stuff works great. All right, so there's your butterfly. Let's go check in with our butterfly that's embroidering now. So we have, it's getting there. Hey, Angie, you want to know, are there more designs with the Stellaire upgrade? Yeah. So were you on the show on Tuesday, Angie? I think you were. Did you see all those new categories I showed you on the machine? There's bigger designs. There's... The couching designs, those are really cool. We're going to do a whole episode on that. And by the way, those of you that purchased the Stellaire 2, don't forget to register your machine. So it's just like the Airflow Serger, just like the Luminaire 3, registered on Brother's site. You'll get an email with an access code to the masterclass. So you can follow along. This one, I there's over 40 videos teaching you how to use everything on the machine. But you will like that couching. It's pretty cool. See, what other questions you have? Oh, thanks, Fran. I always love seeing you in here, too. Uh, this, these lace designs are built into the Stellaire, not the Luminaire. But you would still do the same hooping if you had the Luminaire. How do you make sure the thread tension is correct? 
Well, the machine pretty much does it, but you have adjustments if you need to. If for any reason your bobbin's pulling up or uh, you're getting some loose stitches, the first thing I would do is rewind the bobbin or, and re-thread the machine. That's first. I have to be honest. I don't think in all the years I've been using Brother Machines, I'm trying to think. So I'm like thinking, is there, has there ever been a time I had to adjust the tension? No, there is not. And I embroider all the time. So maybe uh, I just got lucky, but I think, you know, the machine does such a good job. The designs are digitized in there. So the machine knows how to stitch them. So I think, I don't know. I've never had any issues with that. Oh, so Sarah, we got to go in the Art Spirit app. Where's my phone? I have to go in there because for all of you on the Luminaire and the other brother machines, Sarah says there are some great designs in Art Spirit that have to do with lace. That's going to be next on my list when I get off. All right, you guys got it. When you turn off the machine, well, I do always save it. <laughs> I always save my design to the machine, but it's not going to know. I mean, if I save it, great. But guess what? You turn the machine off, turn it back on, and it starts right back there. It remembers better than you do? Yeah, Michelle, me too. I agree, Debbie. I think you guys all got that. That's perfect. Oh, here you go. Hey, brother's got a link for you. Here's a link with all the features. So I'll leave that up. It's on the Facebook side, Angie, and you're on the Facebook side. So just click on that. Um, I do save the design first, but you don't have to. It just knows. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, I love this. Sherry, manual spool cap holders. What pay grade is that? <laughs> Not enough. <laughs> and Jody, yeah, you can watch the lives anytime. So you're on YouTube, just go to Brother So's YouTube. This is on the Brother page, and you can go back and watch those. When you go to their YouTube channel, though, you have to click under Live. If you just go to their channel, all you see are recorded videos, click on Live. Oh, you'll want to see it, Angie. There was a lot of cool features. Oh, Lois. I did the upgrade. There are two new designs on machines that are grayed out. Check with your brother dealer because I don't know which machines you're talking about. You can also call Brother Customer Service. They're great. So check that, because I have not had any that are grayed out unless you have the wrong size hoop on there. No, that wouldn't. Call your dealer. Yeah. <laughs> I know, it's getting there. We're almost finished. <laughs> Oh, Ivy said she her tech adjusted the screw on the bobbin case once. You know what? I did have to order a new bobbin case once. I had broken a needle. This is years ago. I was, I think I was embroidering maybe jean, pair of jeans number 55 or something like that. I broke a needle really bad. It was my own fault because I well, we won't go into what was my own fault. But either way, it nicked the needle case. So if you ever have a machine that you've had for a long time and all of a sudden you're getting skip stitches, check that needle case. I think Joanne is the one that told me about that. Joanne and Cindy Hogan both said, hey, check your needle case. All right, any other questions while we're just about finished? It's looking pretty good. Let's see how much time we have left. If there's a lot, I'll end the show and uh, show you guys the rest when I get back. But you got the gist of it, right? So while you're embroidering, for those that don't know, there's a green dot right here that tells me where it is. And this up here, see where the red line is? That's how far we are in the embroidery section. This, this is the stitch count, in case I never pointed that out to you. Right here, it says the whole design takes 24 minutes. We are at 20 minutes. And right here, it says we have three minutes left for the color that's in there. And this is the last color. Oh my gosh, you know what, I'm, I'm looking at this. 
That's gorgeous. This is way bigger than the design I did. I wonder what I did. Maybe I maybe I chose something from Art Spear because mine isn't that big. And I don't think you could change the size on it. That's absolutely beautiful. It almost looks furry. All right, we're getting there. Do you guys want to wait three more minutes? Or do you want me to end and I'll show you it next week? It's totally up to you. Totally up. I'll take a vote. Finish it and cut it and rinse it or come back later. It's. I'll wait for you. Oh, hey, Cindy, that's a great question. And there's a technical answer to it, so I'm not going to answer it. But one, I want to say one, see, I'll screw it up. But I want to say that one was for bobbin work and one is for regular sewing and embroidery. But I don't know that for sure. I just know that that was always like it, my thought. So I'll let brother, <laughs> I'll let the brother social team answer that one to make sure it's technically correct. It is pretty, isn't it? That's Chenille. That was the word I was trying to think of, Jody. Doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Everyone wants. Okay, so those that want to wait, awesome. Those that don't want to wait, I hope you have a fabulous weekend. I'll keep going. I've got time right now. Besides, the internet wasn't working right away. So we got about like five minutes left. Anybody else that has to go have a fabulous weekend. The show schedule for next week is at noon Eastern on Tuesday. Joanne will be on here for the new design of the month for September. I have a live show on Wednesday at 1.30 where I'm sewing that skirt I mentioned. And then back here on Brother at noon next week. And we're going to start sewing the grocery bag. But don't worry, I'm not even giving you the supply list until then. So everybody will be on the same page. There's going to be a lot of, sh of sharing on that one, though. I think it was unanimous. I'll finish it. Well, I, I'd like to finish it. I have enough UFO projects in this studio. <laughs> So in the meantime, while we're watching it, it's almost done. It's almost done. I'll let you watch it. I'm going to grab my water so it's all ready for you. I already have a hot thing of water. It might not be hot anymore. I'll go ahead and talk to you while it's finishing. And if you're on YouTube, don't forget to please subscribe to the Brother channel. Can you hear the water? And if you're on Facebook, don't forget to follow. All right, so you can probably hear me. No, I'm not in the bathroom. I'm filling a bowl of water and I'm using a little bit of fabric softener. That's my trick. My friend Deborah Jones taught me that years ago because I always made so much lace and I'd say, why can't I rinse all this out? She said, use a little bit of fabric softener. So. All right, I'm coming back to you. How's it looking? Is it finishing? I'm trusting you guys to watch that. So if anything goes wrong, I'm in the other room. All right, here's the water. Got it all ready for you. All right, brother fans. I think that you uh, did a good job watching it. Perfect. Okay, finished embroidering. Yay. Is that beautiful? That does look like chenille. Oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. I just want to check something. Because this one looks a little bit different than the one I did. I'm going to save this to my machine because I'm going to make a few of these. Click return edit. Yeah, you can't change the size. So I must have grabbed a different one. Oh, by the way, while I'm here, look at, I didn't realize you could still add stippling around it. Wait till you see what this looks like. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, let's go to the table. No more squirreling. Be hanging out for hours, right? <laughs> the big reveal's coming. <laughs> it's coming, it's coming. 
Yeah, so I can't even take credit for that. Barbara Jones, definitely. She's watching the show. Thank you, thank you. It saved. Yeah, Angie, it makes your lace so much softer. Uh, hey, oh, Washway. I'm using the Brother brand Washway. You can just, just visit your Brother dealer. They'll have Washway stabilizer for you. I keep it by the case, <laughs> if you know what I mean. All right, so where did I get this little guy? Oh, it is the same size. This just looks smaller. I think it almost looks like it shrunk a little bit. This just looks huge. All right, well, I guess I need better glasses. So what am I doing? I'm cutting around, don't cut your lace off. I'm just cutting around the design. You might as well get rid of a lot of this. Now, really, I would go to the sink first and rinse this, but since I can't bring you to the sink, there's the backside. So minus my little, you can't even see my little mess up, just barely. All right, so here is my water with a little bit of fabric softener, and it's really hot. So hold on, hold that thought. I'm going to get some tongs. You all know I don't cook, so I take all of these out of our kitchen, and I'm sure Wynn will be looking for these sometime soon. Mm. Oh, I got a spoon. Oh, here they are. These are not a brother product, but you can leave an LOL in the uh, comments. You've seen these. I actually have shorter ones. These are for my bucket when I'm dyeing fabrics, but where did it go? Hello? Anybody that's logging in right now is probably like, when did brother start a cooking show? <laughs> well, if Angela Wolf is teaching a cooking show, you probably don't want to watch it. Although I can make a killer omelet. All right, what do we got here? I usually let this soak for a little bit and then I'll rinse it off again, but this will kind of give you at least to see what it's looking like. Oh, isn't that beautiful? So then you let this just sit out and dry, but look, it's, it's see-through. It's just like crochet. You see, my fingers are going through there. Absolutely gorgeous. So here's the finished one. Here's the one that needs to dry. They are the same size. I don't know why that one just looked so big in the hoop. So voila, I'm gonna put it back in here. Let it soak a little bit, soften up. There's my lace design, so I'm just curious. All of you with your still air, or if you found some of this, the Lace Designs in the Art Spirit app, post them and be sure to tag Brother Sews, hashtag Brother Sews, but tag me as well, hashtag Angela Wolf. I'd love to see what you're working on. I get so inspired by your projects. So, well, I think we finished it. Any last minute questions for me? Oh, cause the water's super hot. Did I, did I forget to tell you guys the water is super, super hot out of my spigot. Well, you wanna use hot water. <laughs> no, it's not gonna bite. I don't think the butterfly is going to bite. We're good, we're safe on that. <laughs> Isn't it gorgeous? I, it, drum roll. <laughs> yeah, the fabric softener keeps it soft and it also gets that stabilizer out faster. Two things. Any last minute questions? Hey, Jenny, congrats on your upgrade. Oh yeah, you want me to check the bobbin? Okay, let me go check. <laughs> Hold tight. Let's see, in the bob. I don't think it does, but let me check. Nope, it just has start. Let me double check my luminaire, make sure it's in the same spot. And if you have any last minute questions, I know there's a 10 second delay. I'll double, I'll wait and answer any of them. Otherwise I'm gonna wish you all a fabulous weekend. And you wish me good luck fishing. Okay. I haven't used that feature in so long. I can't even remember where it is. 
that's terrible. I'll go check. <laughs> I'll go check. I know, isn't that terrible? Well, I can't remember everything, right? Well, I can try. So everyone, thank you so much for being here today. This was a fantastic show. It's so nice to see you. Uh, have a wonderful weekend. Be safe. Wish me luck in fishing. And stay tuned for the sewing bag project. You're going to love it. So all you have to think about now is what name you're going to put on your bag. Is it going to be for fishing? Is it going to be for yourself? It has to look good in the grocery store, though. Yeah, just think something really rich, right? <laughs> all right. Thanks, guys. Have a wonderful weekend, and I'll talk to you soon. Until next time. Happy sewing.